What is up all my Brave Birds fans and welcome to week 6 of the PGL. Today we're going up against Lucky Green who is currently undefeated. This is going to be our hardest match yet in my opinion. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now we really need these dang wins. Uh, if we want to make it to the playoffs, we need to win like as many of the next games as possible and hope that Puppet C continues to lose or doesn't continue because he hasn't lost many. But you know what I mean, we have to hope that he loses over and over and over again so we can clinch the uh, the playoffs. So that's the hope. Um, I've had a few issues today with my team. Apparently, my Latios wasn't perfect and he was running. I had to fog on it because defog is very important for my team. Um, and apparently the Latios I was running it wasn't working on so unfortunately I am defogless which means that Stealth Rocks is going to destroy our team. I'm really worried about that now. Some things to look for, or some things to look out for on Lucky's team is his Garatina, um, which I believe he's going to be bringing that because the unfortunate thing is I've already seen his entire team so I already know what he's packing because before when we tried to do the match Obviously, we loaded up the match to start and it didn't work, so I know what his team is now, um, which is really unfortunate. It's not like I have anything different though, um, like I didn't bring any different moves besides instead of defog, I brought something else, which I guess could technically be kind of cheap, but it's what I would have brought if I couldn't have had defog, you know what I mean? So I brought Hidden Power Fire for his Scizor. Now, I, I know it sounds really cheap, but I swear that's what I probably would have brought anyways, because we're running a Scarf Latios. I know, like Defog Scarf Latios, that's extremely weird, but that's what I, the plan was. Um, now, right here, um, you can see he brought most of the mons that I expected before seeing the previous match screen. Um, he brought the Charizard, he brought the Landorus, he brought the Giratina. Uh, the rest, actually, I wasn't expecting. I was actually expecting a um, the Snorlax and the Tyranitar. I'm glad he didn't bring those, because those actually would have been a huge pain for our team. We're going to lead here with Ledger. And then we're just going to grab everybody else. Um, I was thinking Kimiko lead would be good, but I feel like I need to preserve Kimiko for later in the match. So I'm going to lead with our our Ledger, the Escavalier, because I feel like he can hit anything hard. He's relatively tanky, so I feel like anything that he starts with, we could at least take the hit. So I feel like he's a really good choice here for a lead now. Excuse me if I'm drinking um, during this little part here. We're just waiting for him to choose who he wants to lead with now. I think the worst possible lead he could go with is probably his Charizard for us, but if he leads with Charizard, we can easily switch into Tyrion, the, um, the Victini. So that would be a fine switch in for me. Now, <laughs> he's only got 15 seconds remaining. Here we go. We're going into the match. He, he picked on time. Thank God. Because that's always terrible when you don't have enough time to pick your lead. But uh, he's good, he's good, he's good. I was getting nervous that maybe something went wrong on the recording side of things, but everything's good. So let's see who you decide to lead with. He's going to lead with Spike. That's going to be the Jolteon. It absolutely is the Jolteon now. Jolteon, okay. So this thing could have Hidden Power Fire. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, Hidden Power is a common thing that you run on a um, Jolteon. Now let's see how much we're going to need a Scavalier for later, because if we're not going to need him much, I might just go for a knockoff right here, um, because I don't think that, unless he has Hidden Power Fire, that damage is going to be too much for us. But I think what I'm going to do here is actually switch into Tyrion. He could go for a Shadow Ball. If he goes for a Shadow Ball, that'd be pretty bad for us, but um, yeah, I'm going to go to Tyrion because I think that... Tyrion will eat this up, especially if he goes for an electric type move. Um, if he goes for Hidden Power Fire, he'll eat it up. The only thing is if he goes for Shadow Ball. If he goes for Protect, that's fine. So, interesting. So he's got Quick Feet, uh, Quick Feet Jolteon. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So now we can go for, what would he switch into on this Tyrion? Because he's not going to want to stay in here with Spikes. Now we can hit the Sylveon extremely hard with V-Create. Uh, v we hit the Charizard decent with V-Create. We're going to hit the Lando not very well with V-Create. We're going to hit... We're going to destroy the Scizor with V-Create. And Giratina would take a little bit of damage from V-Create. So I'm assuming he's either going to go Landorus or Giratina. So I'm going to go for Ice uh, Glaciate, actually, funny enough. So that's the plan here. He's going to go for Volt Switch. Okay, so let's see if we just made the best prediction, like, ever. Let's check this out. Okay, so he's going to switch into... It's going to be Garatina. How much you want to bet it's Garatina? Because if it's Garatina, Glaciate's not going to do that much, but it's still going to do a little bit. 
So Islan is the Landorus. And this thing is going to take a massive amount of damage right here. Glace, oh, he brought the freaking. oh, you got to be kidding me. What's that, what's that berry that, uh, is for ice? What is that thing called? So we made a pro play, but he had an even pro play. Uh, we got the speed fall, which is great. So yeah, whatever berry that was just weakened the power of ice, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's okay, because now we can actually go into, I feel like, ledger. We can go back into ledger. Now, um, ledger isn't going to take a superpower extremely well, so that might have been a really bad choice. So if he goes for superpower, GG to him, we're about to find out. I don't want to keep Tyrion in on anything that can take out Tyrion, because like I said, Tyrion is going to be a key to taking out three of his mods. So Tyrion needs to stay on our side, he needs to stay alive, we cannot do anything stupid with Tyrion. He is the key to winning this game. Um, as well as, I really wish that we brought our Forges, by the way, guys. I traded Banjo the Dawn fan for Forges. Kind of a really weird trade, but I was thinking ahead to Season 2 and some later games um, of this season when I did that. Now, Dawn fan would have helped pretty well here. He's going to go out into the Flying Touchman, which is going to be his gosh a diggity dern <sighs> Giratina. So we're going to go for the knockoff. We're going to go for the knockoff. Because Ledger's not too, too important, to be completely honest. Uh, now that we got that berry out of the way on that Lando, uh, Ledger's not that important, besides being able to tank a few hits. But the knockoff is going to do a pretty good amount to the Flying Dutchman. It's super effective. I don't think we can knock off his item, because I'm pretty sure it's the Grievous Orb, or whatever it's called, and you can't knock that item off. Kind of cheap, if you ask me. But uh, I think it still might do the same damage. It might not, though. But whatever, either way, this knockoff is about to be huge. And if he decides to switch out, which he does, we're going to knock something off, and that's going to be pretty huge, too. So out it's going to come back in the, uh, the Landorus, who's about to catch this knockoff, but it's an intimidated knockoff. So attack stat drops. We're only going to do a very tiny amount of damage. This thing's definitely physically defensive. Now, we're going to want to switch out because we are choice banded. So unfortunate on that one but we can switch into i feel like yggdrasil uh, we don't really need yggdrasil too much for this battle so if yggdrasil dies it's fine it's fine yggdrasil is just there for banter pretty much he's an extra pokemon to throw around so here comes out the pretty shiny yggdrasil who's now he's going to set up the stealth rocks he does know that we don't have defog because i was talking to him about it because it was a whole hoopla that uh that i couldn't i couldn't bring the the defog because i really felt like i needed it um so it was really unfortunate when that ended up happening but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna set up a leech seed on something as long as we survive whatever hit he decides to go with which i think you just still will um i think a mega venusaur could tank any thing that this thing has i don't i'm being hesitant there because i'm not entirely sure but we're about to find out so you just still gonna mega evolve we're gonna set up a leech seed now, uh, it just all depends on what he wants to go for. Maybe we should have went for a knockoff in case he withdrew, but he decides not to, so I'm really glad I didn't do that. Now we can get to just set up a Leech Seed as long as it connects. I know Leech Seed can be sort of not always the most accurate thing in the world. So here comes an Earthquake. We do eat that up fairly well. It does a pretty good amount of damage, but not too bad. Our Leech Seed is now set up, which is great. Now we just got to think. This might be where he wants to switch in his Charizard on us, expecting us to go for a Giga Drain, Giga Drain or something, which could be bad, but I think I'm just going to make the smart play and go Giga Drain. We are fe I'm feeling pretty good right now. Like I said, Giga still is not the most important Mon, so he does go for Earthquake. He stays in. I'm not going to overbit and predict, which turns out to be a good play. Our Giga Drain is going to go off. It's going to do enough to take him out, which is perfect. Awesome job, Giga Drain. We're off to a really solid start here, guys. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. He still has the Giratina. He still has the Scizor. Those are two really scary mons. The Larry Bird is going to be the Charizard. That's the perfect switch in for him. That was pretty obvious. Now, the only thing is, once that thing Mega Evolves, it's a Mega Charizard uh, Y, by the way. So it's going to Mega Evolve and be ferocious as all hell. Now, if we bring Tyrion, my, my biggest fear is that he's got some sort of trick up his sleeve for the switch in. But... I kelt everything out, and a Mega Charizard Y in the sun, Fire Blast, doesn't do too much. I completely forgot about the stones. That's going to be an issue down the line. Ooh, okay. All right, so he's going to set up the sun. Here comes the sun. Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> 
But I don't think that a Flare Blitz or whatever it is, he used Substitute. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue. We're going to go for Bolt Strike. Because we can. Because we can. Um, is he going to switch out is my question. He might switch out. Be oh, can you switch out when you're behind a Substitute? I'm not too sure. But if you can, he would switch out into the Lando, expecting the Bolt Strike in my opinion. So... We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. He's gonna use Overheat. I don't think that'll kill Tyrion. I really don't. Oh, wow. It does a lot. It does do a lot. It does a lot more than I was hoping. It's extremely unfortunate. Um, I don't have many other checks to Larry Bird here. So we're gonna knock his sub away, obviously. That was a huge hit. That would have one hit KO, to be completely honest with you. Um, does it matter? He's gonna go first and kill us, so he he would stay in, and then we can't we can't do anything like rocks wise. Like if we come back in on the rocks, we're dead. We could preserve him as free as switch fodder, but I don't even know if that's the best bet. We actually might have lost this year, guys. I think we lost. I really think that we might have just lost this because of that substitute. I did not expect substitute. I'm just going to check moves on Chronicle really quick. I mean, I might be able to kill with that. Okay. I have a plan. It not ne it's not necessarily the best plan, but we're going to let Tyrion go down. We're going to let Tyrion go down here. He withdraws. Dang it all. I was going to go for the V-Create just in case. Oh, Flying Dutchman. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of damage off on this thing. Mm. That adds... That that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts right there. Okay, so we're going to go for the, the V-Create. I mean, like, like I said, either way, we're dead, I think. <sighs> so here comes the Shadow Sneak. It's going to kill us. Tyrion couldn't have come back in anyways because of Stealth Rocks. So there's no reason preserving him. So uh, we're going to go into... The best switch in here would be Chronicle, I feel. Would it, though? Would it, though? Yeah, we're going to go into Chronicle. We're going to go into Chronicle. Now, Chronicle is the Darkrai. He is pretty, pretty crazy beast right here. He's going to go for a Dark Pulse. And hopefully do some damage to something. I mean... Flying Dutchman, if he stays in here, he's, he's about to take a quite a bit of damage. It's not going to be enough to Oko, I don't think. But it might bring us pretty close. It might be a two-hit KO, um, would be my guess. He's going to withdraw the Flying Dutchman. Probably should have went for Incinerate. I'm guessing Scizor to come in here. Young Scarfed comes in. He's going to eat up this Dark Pulse like no one's business. Mm. And uh, we show our Life Orb. So this is Young Scarf, so I'm kind of... No, he's Leftovers. Okay, that's good to know. I was going to say, I'm kind of wondering if he is, in fact, Scarf, because that's a... That would be an issue, but he's not, so... We should outspeed this thing. We should definitely outspeed this thing. Will this be enough to kill? Will this be enough to kill? I hope so. I'm going for a Sludge Bomb. I am going for the Sludge... <laughs> the Sponge Bomb. The Sludge Bomb. So let's see. Will this be enough to kill? What's he going to do? Is he going to stay in? I kind of feel like he's not going to stay in. I kind of feel like he's too smart to stay in on this sludge bomb. Will he predict a sludge bomb? No, will he? Oh, these are the questions. Come on, Scarf. I mean, young Scarf. <laughs> Come on, Lucky. Stay in, man. I know you want to. Ah, oh, he withdraws. Ah, oh, gee, gee. What's he going to go into? That's going to be the Scizor. Completely predicted that Sludge Bomb. Freaking, he is playing like a complete pro right now. Bullet, S Bullet Seed might kill us, though. I mean, not Bullet Seed. Um, Bullet Punch. <sighs> Ledger would be safe play. Ledger would be the safe play. But am I about that life? I am not about that life. We're going to go for Incinerate. Let's do it! Bullet Punch, don't kill. We got a little bit of defense investment. We are going to live. Oh my gosh, we live on 12. Woo! All right. 
That's a hard hit. That incinerate, man. Bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but we're going to die from the life orb, which is unfortunate. This thing was a pretty big check to the Garatina, but that's okay because we do have Latios who, if he can connect with his Draco, might be able to one-shot it. So I believe we have to choose who we want to go out first. Now, knowing him, let's see his team really quick. He's probably going to go with either Charizard, um, Young Scarfed, let's see. All right, this actually might be a good opportunity to get Huggin out. I feel like Huggin could put in some work against most things. Let's bring out Huggin. I feel like, uh, I don't know, Stealth Rock damage right there, but oh well. He's going to send out Spike. Okay, so we know this to be... It's oh, freaking rough. That's freaking rough. Okay, so this is an HP fire, not necessary anymore. We can go for the Draco. He's... This quick feed's going to make him faster, though, I assume, though. I don't really know how that works. I don't really know how quick feet works. I'm going to look that up really quick. Quick feet. Okay, so... Boost speed if there's a status thing. Okay, so I don't think we should worry too much. I think we should just go for the Draco. I do. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. Will it be enough to kill? He does outspeed, which is rather unfortunate. Okay, it's not enough to kill. We're going to hit the Draco. Probably shouldn't have done that, to be completely honest, because like I said, Latios is the check to Garatina that's left, and he survives too. Darn, dude. But Burn, Burn takes him out. Okay, so that Burn came down to be his downfall in the end anyway, so... <sighs> What's next? What is next? He could go Garatina. Shadow Sneak would probably kill us from this range, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that Garatina is going to be our loss right there. We, you know, we no longer have a real check to the Garatina, so... Don't know what we're going to do about that. I wish I had brought the Florges this match, but I didn't think he was going to bring Garatina solely because I had got the... Yeah, here comes the Flying Dutchman. Alright, so Shadow Sneak probably will be enough to kill, he knows. So what could this be good for? What could Ladio still be good for? He could... He doesn't really have anything for anything else besides Charizard. He might, might be my only check to Charizard. Yeah, I think he's my only check to Charizard, so we might need to go into Ledger here. Hmm. I mean, we could go for the Draco. I don't think we live a Shadow Sneak, so don't really want to do that. I don't know if Rocks would kill us either, though. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to switch into Ledger. Don't know if it's the best bet, but we're going to switch into Ledger here. Hopefully, he doesn't go for Draco. Hopefully, he went for Shadow Sneak, which I'm assuming he's going to. He's going to use Draco. Okay, so he called it with the Draco. That's going to do a pretty good amount to us. That probably will kill us, to be completely honest. Ooh, it doesn't kill us, but... That's going to be in a pretty good range to kill us in the future. So, or like the next hit, we're probably dead. So, let's see. What could we do? We can go for a knockoff. We can go for Megahorn. We can go for Iron Head. I would say knockoff, but I feel like he's just going to switch in to the Sylveon. Unless he really thinks he's going to kill me, which he might. I mean, he probably will, but I don't know if he's going to predict or not. Maybe we should go for the Iron Head. Just as a middle ground play, because either way, we're probably dead. I don't know how much more knockoff would have done anyways. So if he switches into Sylveon, it's dead Sylveon, sort of thought. And if he doesn't, we're dead anyways. So that's the play here. I don't know if it's the best one or the, or the worst one. <laughs> we're going to find out. I really hope that it's a good play. And I hope that he overpredicts or something and goes out the Sylveon. He's going to use Shadow Force. Oh? 
I had no idea that was a move. I had no idea that that was even a move. I, I seriously had no idea that was even a move. Oh, crap, that's right, we can only go for Iron Head. I forgot that we were Choice Bandit. I decided to stick in. I feel like we're dead anyways. Giratina's just too, too freaking powerful. Alright, so our options here are... Yggdrasil... Yeah, we lost. Gosh darn this freaking flying Dutchman. We're not living a, a freaking Draco Meteor. I'm going to tell you that much. The Draco Meteor is... Um, we're not actually a calm nature or especially defensive at all. So he does withdraw the Flying Dutchman, which is good. I guess. I was going to come Larry Bird. We're going to get some Leech Seed up on this thing. Which is nice. Or What? I swore I went for Leech Seed. <laughs> I swear I went for Leech Seed. I swear I went for Leech Seed. That's so funny. Okay, so that's so weird. All right, so are we really are out of options here, guys. We gotta let Yggdrasil go down. This is this is gonna come right down to the end, but I don't think that there's anything we can do. <sighs> okay, so Sludge Bomb it is. We're gonna have to let Yggdrasil go down if there's any chance of winning this, which there's really not. Um, so, you're just still faint. And we're gonna go into Huggin. Who is going to not Draco Meteor? We're not gonna do that. I should have saved you just for later. That's okay. We're gonna go into Kimiko. It's like our only chance here. Yep. Kimiko it is. We're going into Kimiko. Going into Kimiko. Alright. It's all going to come down to whether or not I can live a Shadow Sneak or whatever that other move was um, with the gosh diggity darn um, Latios, which I don't think is going to happen. So we're about to Stone Edge this Larry Bird. He's going to withdraw though, so eh, eh, eh. He's going to send out Young Scarfed, who's going to take this Stone Edge. Let's see how much it does. If it connects, which, oh, it does. I thought for a second it was going to miss. So that does about half. That's not bad. Just get that leftovers back. Yeah, that's a GG to him. Good job. Uh, great, great match, dude. Great match. Um, so here are my best. Let's look into this a little bit. This is where I need to really run some calcs. I didn't want to run any calcs this game. Just because. But you know what? This is where I really need to. So just to double check what... Uh, what my best bet here is so my best move to go for would be high jump kick no we don't even have poison jab on here that's so unfortunate uh, i almost brought it too but i didn't think you'd bring sylveon i didn't think sylveon would be a problem so we're gonna go for high jump kick he's gonna use protect so we're gonna crash oh gg dude g freaking g my god Pro played. Absolutely pro played. Alright, well, you know what? I'm just going to U-turn because I am, uh... I am Regenerator, so we'll get back a little bit of health. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Stealth Rocks were up if we had Naughty. Defog. First time I ever swore on my channel. That wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> so, we're going to go out to Huggin, who's going to die, and whatever. Good job to, um... If I'm bummed out, it's because I, like, it's because everything went wrong team building this week. The freaking defog not being a thing really put me over the edge, and it kind of sucks, but whatever. It's a rough week. Rough freaking week. All right, so we're going to go for Stone Edge. We're going to go for the Stone Edge. Maybe we can get a crit. High critical rate, uh, critical hit ratio. Oh my god, we do get a crit. It's not going to matter, though. It's not going to matter. 
GG. Good match, Lucky. Um, awesome. He's now 7-0, so if you've never checked out Lucky's channel before, go check him out. He's clearly an amazing battler and knows exactly what he's doing, so... It's alright, guys. Better luck next week. I hope to see you all then. Until then, though, stay frosty and peace out.